Hello everybody, welcome back to Dungeons 2. Decided to do another episode, uh, we've got a few votes on the last one, so thought we'd continue with it, and I also enjoy playing it, so makes it worthwhile, eh? Right, so we did the first two, the Battle for King's Ending and A New Hope, in the last episode, so let us go ahead with King Robert Has to Die. And I'm using shadow play for this, so I'm hoping that the audio doesn't cut out halfway through. There's been an update, so fingers crossed, eh? Here we go. Hello, cutie. According to scouts, King Robert spent most of his time strolling around his hunting lodge garden, reciting poetry. Soon his poetry would turn into mournful ballads. The vengeful evil thirsted to defeat the Alliance's king and mount his head on the wall as a trophy. Whoops, of course, I really mean that he wanted to take all of King Robert's cookies away. Better play it safe, or the age classification folks will be after me. <laughs> Before that, however, the ultimate evil had to do a bit of work on the dungeon. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to fund even a small army made up of a few orcs. Right, okay. Uh, first of all, we're going to need... A treasury. So, let us dig this out. Oops. There we go. this started and we need to hire three orcs it says there in the top left hand corner so let's do the first the one. The warmongering evil had hired the first orc. As ancient wisdom says violence is a solution usually the only one. The first treasury was completed. Soon greedy evil's little snots would fill it with gold. You know the golden rule right? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. Get this treasury down. Come on. Faster. Alright, well we need that out as well. We can't have that there, can we? Doesn't fit in with my OCD, that. The steady pounding in the rocks had given rise to overworld rumours of a new dungeon. A group of heroes set out to plunder its riches, and the ultimate evil was already looking forward to this visit. <laughs> Another oh. orc entered the service of the military savvy evil. The horde was growing and prospering. I love this commentator. It really does make me laugh. Come on. There are enemies in your dungeon. Yes, just need 50 more. We've got three orcs. Come on. There we go. Thank you very much. The time to just attack one. appeared to be right. On the surface, Two. in the tavern of a small, miserable Where village, some adventurers gathered. They were acquiring Dutch courage for their visit to the dungeon by downing several beers. The dungeon had to be destroyed. Come on, boys, hurry up. The heroes didn't know what had hit them, as several orcs bore down from nowhere and annihilated them. This group of heroes had plundered their last dungeon, but there would be more. Right, let them get their uh, just rewards from the treasure. Treasure? The treasury? Uh, okay, that's not right. Need to get rid of that. Pick them up and go over here and set them on the merry way. The ultimate evil should never forget to keep a watchful eye on its beer and gold stores. If its creatures can't help themselves whenever they need to, they will get angry. 
fast. as well. <laughs> Come along, hurry it up. The ultimate evil slowly made itself cozy underground. Although this was a sensible decision, there was a large and lovely overworld out there just waiting to be destroyed. Fifteen. I think we can get some more in a sec. Oh, hello. It must have been just a bit about to go to my dungeon. I need to get rid of this. A delicious rumble announced the fact that the village's last house had crashed to the ground. Ha! There would be no more heroes meeting there to seek out the dungeon of the destruction-hungry evil. The hunting lodge of King Robert lay in the north. It was there that the ultimate evil would finally get its long-awaited revenge. However, it looked pretty damn well guarded. Maybe it should first visit the cave to the west, inhabited by a clan of goblins, where the cunning evil could do a little negotiating. Ooh, there's a book there I missed. Come on, boys. See who gets this. And what did you get? Oh, I can't tell on this map. After Wesley goes back to the dungeon. Right, need to talk to the goblin chief. The goblin leader prostrated himself joyfully before the ultimate evil and immediately dispatched two goblins into its dungeon with a few plans for a new room, a tinkerer's cave. This was built as quickly as possible. Oh, I tell you what, I'm not done, damn it. Uh, no wonder they're getting angry. The first brewery was completed. Soon beer would be flowing there like a river, go. and an Oktoberfest atmosphere would pervade all. Would the ultimate evil put the beer baron out of business? Ooh, such a duff reference. The Tinkerer's Cave was built. It could, however, only be used as a warehouse, as it lacked the workshop that the insidious evil's goblins needed. Quick as a flash, evil placed a creator mat in the Tinkerer's Cave. <laughs> if I had enough money, I would. <laughs> No, I'm quick as a flash. I need money first. Come on, boys, hurry up. There we go. A sparkling new creator mat graced the Tinkerer's Cave of the Expansion Hungry Evil. A goblin would be able to work well in here, producing toolboxes. A few of these boxes would now be needed in order to invent a trap. The moody evil waited patiently. Oh, 
Can we do it yet? No, we need two books. Come on, hurry It's nope. payday. Damn it. I'm one for good luck. There we go. <laughs> Gold, damn it. Come along, hurry up, there we go. And the research begins. As cowardly as the goblins were, their creativity more than made up for this. They proudly presented the treacherous evil with their plan for a devious trap. With a silent evil cackle, it quickly buckled down to setting the trap. The two toolboxes, there it is. Uh, get in there. Goblin should pick up the boxes now and take them. There we go. Off you go, little snooks. Faster. Before the adventurers come in again. Yes, because they're the I think they're, they're, I think they're about you. Day. Job done. The trap was finished and ready to be found by a hero. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Just at that moment, a particularly powerful dwarf warrior appeared in the dungeon. How had he suddenly arrived at this precise time was indeed most odd, but his presence was more than welcome. He was going to be a guinea pig for the trap. <laughs> what a coincidence that is, eh? <laughs> Even this strong dwarf warrior didn't stand a chance against the treacherous traps and powerful monsters of the invincible evil. He bit the dust. So much for a game of dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> the dungeon's defenses were now clearly much improved, but the hunting lodge still remained well protected and impregnable. There was nothing that the ultimate evil could do. The task was impossible. So the evil withdrew, bent and broken, let feelings of revenge ebb away, and instead took up looking after those cute, teeny-weeny trees. What are they called again? <laughs> Bonsai, yes, that's it. <laughs> the end. Pretty unsatisfactory, huh? Of course, that wasn't the end. In reality, the indefatigable evil paid the goblin cave another little visit. The goblin leader would hopefully spit out something useful after a few more slaps. A few hard slaps were enough to motivate the leader of the goblins to help the ultimate evil. As it transpired, there was an old tunnel which had been previously used as an escape route. This connected the goblin cave with the vaults of the hunting lodge. 
the goblin leader voluntarily made a goblin assassin available to the hard-hitting evil to help infiltrate the lodge. Nice. Uh, grab that. There we go. And where is this assassin? Research the hospital. Cheerful Evil was pleased with this support. An assassin was a decent melee fighter, but its actual strength lay in its ability to make itself invisible. This was, of course, tested out immediately. Despite the powerful invisibility skill, it was advisable for the ultimate evil to be cautious. Some opponents had such highly trained observation skills that they were actually able to see invisible units. A locked door prevented the assassin from progressing. It would have taken a long, long, long time for him to have opened it with sheer brute force using weaponry. The charitable evil had researched the hospital. This would enable its units to quickly recover from their injuries, once it had been built, that is. The on-the-ball evil recognized that the warrior princess there was extremely powerful. The goblin assassin would be best advised to avoid any contact with her. Hmm, where is it? There are enemies in your dungeon. Heroes have entered your dungeon. Which way is it going to go? There we go. It's payday. A gobobot was being forced to make miserable repairs in the lodge. A brief feeling of what it thought might be sympathy passed through the sensitive evil, but this actually turned out to be a mighty belch. Naturally, it would free the useful gobobot anyway. Uh, right, we need uh, room for the hospital, so we'll do that. While we do this, get his Mana back up again because you're going to need it to kill this guy, I think.
Nice. Elated by the assassin's attempt at rescuing it, the Gobobot joined the horde and succeeded in showing its tormentors a real hot time. Its ability to more or less ignore range damage and set fire to large areas would come in very handy. Alright, just need to head down to the dungeon again. The caring evil had good-naturedly built a hospital for its suffering creatures. It, however, still lacked a hospital bed. Little Snots would then bring any units there that had been injured in the dungeon. There we go, we got many units. bed had been built. Wounded units could now be healed in the hospital. Little Snots would also be able to bring defeated creatures here so that they could be nursed back to health. Ooh, 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 ranged. Get them. Damn it. And so the negligent <laughs> evil promptly allowed the only really vital unit to this mission to die. The goblin leader sighed and put his second best assassin at evil's disposal at the basement exit. Ouch. Despite its massive firepower, the hopeless evil had lost his gobbo bot. Really, that should be the end of the story. However, Somehow, another one of these wonderful creatures miraculously appeared in the vicinity of the Goblin Cave. <laughs> Hopefully, it would go. receive a little bit more care and attention than its predecessor. Oops. Good God, can <laughs> we please stop letting mission-critical units die? Not that I've got any sympathy for those worms, but it's really beginning to hold things up here. Collect another assassin from the basement exit. <laughs> oh dear. We're not doing too well, are we, really? We've got cannons. I get that one. The hunting lodge was completely destroyed. The vengeful evil gave itself a very self-satisfied pat on the back. The time was right to concentrate on King Robert. He was in his renowned garden reciting his much less renowned love poems. The lyrically challenged evil had no time for poetry and would soon make this tangibly clear to him. If you the king was accompanied by a pixie who was able to cast powerful healing magic. Any direct attack would be suicidal. Mercifully, the omniscient and helpful narrator was at hand. He pointed out to the impatient evil that the pixie went off from time to time in order to check that all was well, and much more importantly, eat her supper in a little camp to the south. Come on, little pixie. Thank you. The pixie buzzed over to eat her meal. The ultimately annoying little pixie had spoken her last healing spell. The crafty-minded evil sculpted a fan from her wings. Now it was time to look for King Robert and ensure his early demise. No. Attack King Robert. Oh, the sweet bunny to kill. Roses 
Uh, right, you go. Payday. Kill him. You go invisible. And use that. There we go. That should do the trick. King Robert fell, and the ultimate evil had received its well-deserved revenge. But there were still many more heroes out there who deserved to bite the dust. Their time would come. <laughs> right, there we go, guys and girls. That's the end of episode two. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, please. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and put a little like there for me. That would be very nice. Thanks very much, folks. This is all grey. Signing off.